yeah, Rather Be is something I wrote at home about not that many months before we ended up in the studio with Verve, actually. Rather Be could probably be taken loads of different ways. The original version of it was like quite psychedelic and like quite a lot of head swell and sort of background loops and sort of mess with your head a little bit. It was an idea Richard to come in with. And again, it's the same kind of thing without, it's not actually structured, structured, but it was, you come in with a definite idea and the vocals kind of carry it. And then we just put our own things over the top. Lyrically, in a way, it's kind of, we're bombarded with so much information now. I and mean, we've had it, there's too much. You know, there's a point where you have to just switch off because I don't believe we are sort of wired to be able to take in so much information. We become even numb to it. I guess we've got a method that we've just kind of hit across over years of doing this, you know, um, of jams and editing and putting bits together and like, get, it's like a fitting a puzzle together, you know. There's like a sort of element of maybe book of tea underneath the, uh, something that I'd like to sort of revisit a few times, actually that, yeah. What it's saying is, I'd rather be here. You know, it's. I've said it before. We're on a rock in infinity. We're on this planet, man. It's just. A, isn't that the miracle? And it's very difficult, I think, in the modern age to find time to really um, invest a bit of thought. I get goose pimples when we're in the studio and we're hitting that, and we know that it's, you know, it's going well. I have moments where you have the headphones on, and you know that when you're hitting those, it's because your teeth are. You, like that, and I'm stood on the back of my heels, and you know this is the bit, so I'm going to play this bit really good, and you do instinctively know that that is the bit. Rather Be's kind of, it gets to a point where it's talking about the birds soaring, and it's talking about, you know, forgetting somehow, shutting away the madness, the, the, the information overload, and just being able to enjoy the sheer beauty of this planet sometimes. Life's like moments, and it's, it's whether you are lucky or fortunate or you've got the head enough to understand that you've got to find time in life to get to that point. Mm -hmm.